you know, looking back at the year 2020, it wasn't all that bad. It wasn't all that bad, you know. Oh, it was the year of self-care. I've never really taken care of myself the way that I have in the year 2020. One thing that I definitely learned was that green tea doesn't taste all that bad. It doesn't. It doesn't, you know. Hmm. It doesn't. I mean, I could drink a whole gallon of this stuff. And you know, it's so good for you. I think I lost so much weight drinking green tea. Hmm. It tastes divine. Absolutely divine. Promise you. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Work till I die, till I die, till I die. I'm gonna fail and get up, cause I'm not giving up on my dream. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kapana Shimangi and this is how I do things. The show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things and I can take it as entertainment or use it as advice. Take it, don't take it, use it, don't use it at all. Do what you will with it. Listen, I am no pro. I am no professional whatsoever. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Is it too early to make New Year's resolutions? Like, am I being too forward here? I don't think I'm being too forward. I think it's the right time. Like, you should start thinking about these things before January actually hits, okay? That's how I feel about New Year's resolutions. Think about them, marinade, simmer, you know, make sure the temperature's just right let it sink in it's like a good curry decide on them sleep on it have you ever tasted curry the next day it tastes way better than it did the day before and that's how i feel about new year's resolutions think about them simmer on them look at what other people are saying look at the international trends look at the trend forecast look at what people are saying about the new year and then i go pray and i find my inspiration i'm just like listen talk to me talk to me what are we doing in the new year after a bit of time i'm just like all right I think I've got my new year's resolutions but today is a chat Tuesday and I want to specifically speak about this money honey how do you want to behave in the new year because when it comes to money I've realized that it's not about the money it's more about me and my behavior so here are some of my thoughts and the things that I'd like to do in the new year's about my money resolutions number one I'd like to be debt free in the new year I think it's time like when I look at my money and I look at my bank account I'm just like my name and debt like they just don't oil and water they just don't mix the thing is i actually don't have a lot of debt so getting rid of it should be something that is easy if i just make a priority for it and for many of us it's the same thing about not getting into new debt and focusing on starting with our small debts and building up to our big ones until we completely eradicate them so yeah maybe debt free sounds really good to me Number two, spend more on myself. Over the years, building my business, having a baby, doing all of these things has made me sacrifice a lot from time, not going shopping, <laughs> and doing things to make sure that my business grows. But over some time, I've realized that mm, we shouldn't neglect ourselves. If anything that 2020 taught us is self-care and taking care of thyself also means just investing in ourselves a little bit, you know? Not being mad at ourselves, for getting the good facial serum, you know, the good facial products, not just skimming off to save money, but the good stuff that makes our skin glow. Plus, when your money's right, the glow is just spectacular. Spending more on myself in terms of, you know, getting myself that dress, maybe taking myself out on that massage, taking myself out on a date, travel, just enjoy myself, but really just spend money on myself, buying myself gifts because honestly, I think we deserve it. Number three, change banks and have a good relationship with my banker. Do you know anyone who has a banker? Like an actual banker to say that, oh no, I was talking to my banker the other day. Banker, you have a banker. Aye, that's a certain level of respect, self-respect to say that my shmani is at a level of importance that I need to have a relationship with the person who is managing my shmani, yes. I want a banker and I want a different bank. Not all banks are made equal. Not all bank cards are the same. Not all savings accounts are the same. Not all investments are the same. So I do want to really have a deep look at what are my bank fees? What are the benefits of banking with a different bank? And how can I build a relationship with the person who's on the other end managing my bank account? That's my goal in the new year. Give out a banker. 
And this just connects me to number four, to have a robust investment portfolio that I am very involved in. Now I know, yes, I have studied finance, but there are people who have a profession in doing this. They think about money and markets way more than I do. So I do want to lean on the, on the knowledge and the expertise of someone who knows what is happening. However, I do want to be involved in my investments. Yes, I know what's happening with my current investments, but I'd really like to diversify and add a few extra things that excite me in terms of how I am investing and growing my money. What type of investments do you have? Are you quite passive? Do you like to stick to your normal little balance funds? Or do you like to experiment a bit? Having a little bit of shares here, investing in some foreign stocks. How do you like to manage your money and how does your investment portfolio look to you? Number five is a warning. Don't be impatient, wait and save instead. Sometimes we get tempted. We're just like, hmm, I've been driving this car for long enough. Maybe I deserve something new. Hmm, I think I could live in a brand new city. Let me go see how the property is looking that side. Oh, sometimes we get tempted to switch things up a little. We look at our investment accounts and they look good. We look at our salaries and they're nice and stable. The bank just keeps on telling us that we are pre-approved for things and we think to ourselves, do I not deserve? I think I deserve. I think I deserve this. Maybe you do deserve it, but maybe you should wait. There's no harm in waiting, especially for those big investments. So if 2020 goes really well, maybe you can wait. Instead of getting that brand new car now or getting that brand new house now, what if you just wait a little bit? Instead of spending it and instead of taking the bank up on that extra loan, how about you take the bank up on an extra investment? on a little savings account, increase your emergency fund and wait a little. Let the decision simmer. When you have big decisions to make about your house, about your car, any big investment that you have to make that takes over the five figure mark, the six figure mark for some of you, then you need to just let it simmer for a while, more than a month, because the whole of January could be a month that you feel like the universe is telling me I need a new house. But in February, your mind might change. Number six is a huge challenge for me, but I know it's something that will really help me grow my shmoney honey. And that is to trust and rely on good labor capital. Literally, instead of just asking for help, pay for help. Pay for someone to come help in the house, pay for someone to do my editing, pay for someone to maybe take care of certain things. Just because you can do it, doesn't mean you have to do it. Sometimes you wanna just hoard everything. I can do it, so I will do it. I'll find the time, I'll make the time. And then we end up just completely filling our schedules. Unnecessarily, like who told you you have to do everything? You don't have to be superwoman, no. Don't stress yourself, sleep, sleep. Sleep is nice. And sleep is something that you can afford when you hire someone who's got the expertise to do the things that you need help with. You think you can clean the house? How about you get somebody who's got the expertise to do it? You think you can declutter? There are some amazing organizations and people who are experts at decluttering. Your house will look brand new. You think that you can do your own website? How about you just hire someone to do it for you? Yes, there are certain things that are better when you do it. However, it is important for you to realize where does your true value lie? Does your true value lie in the performance you give in front of the value, in front of the camera? Or does it lie in your editing? Can you get somebody else to do better editing for you so you can focus on your true money making skills? Instead of spreading yourself thin on all the activities, ask yourself, where am I most valuable? And hire other people to do everything else. The more time you spend doing the thing that is more valuable, the more money you will make. Number seven is to invest in a high level coach, like a really high level coach. Every month we invest in growing. We invest in coaches that really help us to become better at what we do. But in the new year, I'd really like to invest in a high level coach. And those people, Badura, Badura, who they're expensive. I'm getting a headache just thinking about it. However, they do bring the results. So yes, I do want to make the budget 
to invest in a really good high level coach someone who's going to take my performance from this to this and it does take quite a lot of investment both from a money and from a time perspective but it is worth it if you've never invested in a coach before start small look for a person who is an online coach somebody who has resources for you online to really see if this person's personality meshes with yours and if it does start to climb up the ladder and see if they can become your coach too that is something that i have been doing researching the people that i really like and then thinking to myself i think it's time that i invest in someone who's going to take me from the level i am and help me explode and number eight invest in moments moments happen every single day and there are moments that are passing us by because we're busy working we're busy thinking about what are we going to eat we're thinking about is the house clean there's so many things that we're thinking about that moments keep passing us by but there's also moments that we can invest in that we can create finally taking my husband to disney world or having my little baby run around in a huge field invest in creating moments join a club go on vacation spend the time just the two of you if you're gonna spend money on anything shouldn't it be to create magical moments that will honestly last forever in your life it's a little hard spending on these things but they're worth it because those are the things that we're going to remember when we're on our deathbeds not how much money we made or how much money we spent but all the moments that we actually got to live all right, beautiful people, that is it for Chatter to Tuesday today. Those are my eight things that I want to think about when it comes to my money in the new year. How are you feeling about your money in 2020? And what are you thinking of doing with your money in 2021? Let me know in the comment section down below. I appreciate you all so much. And thank you to everyone who's joining me in the morning party. Until tomorrow for another live premiere, I'm Kapana Shimang and this is How I Do Things. Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for watching until the end. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not subscribed, here's the button right here. And continue to binge watch. Feel free, it's fine. No one's going to judge you. It's just between me and you. Binge watch. It's fine. Head over to my website, www.gopanishmangi.com to find out all the free resources and amazing things that you can download, including access to her success journal. Her daily success journal is something that I've been working on for over three years now and it's finally available. So click on the link in my description to find out more about it. Until next time, bye.